Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana, and today let's take a look at how to install Bootstrap in Python. So, Bootstrap is not a library, okay? It's a module with CSS files in it, and you don't need to worry about customizing the look and feel of your website all by yourself. So, Bootstrap helps you a lot in that aspect. Let me just open Bootstrap page for now. So, currently we are in Bootstrap 4.0 version. To get started, it is really simple and I'm going to use a Flask framework to demonstrate how to get started with Bootstrap. So I've created a really simple project, the most basic Flask project that you can create. So I have a folder named Bootstrap example and I have created just a templates folder and inside I have home.html. Then I've created this bootstrap underscore example.py file. And let me open my VS code. So I have also created a virtual environment. Let me just close this server. Okay, so I've created a virtual environment in bootstrap underscore example. As you can see, VNV appears here and you can know that virtual environment is active. I then proceeded to install Flask, which was very easy, pip install Flask, all right? After that, I created a really simple Flask app, if you will. So I just imported Flask and render template. Render template is used to display all the HTML pages that you have for that particular route. So slash means the home route by default and the home route is localhost port 5000. So if I run my server and running a server is as easy as typing python and then the file name so my file name is bootstrap example i press tab to complete the word press enter and as you can see the development server has started so that's localhost ip address as you know and then port 5000 so if i press control and click on it it will follow the link and in my chrome window you can see bootstrap example has appeared why? Because when I started it, it rendered the template home.html. And what do I have in my home.html? A simple line with h1 tags, bootstrap example. So now we are going to prettify it with the help of bootstrap. So what are the ways to include bootstrap in your project? All right. So here are just the two things that you need. You need a CSS link. It is served by bootstrap CDN. And then JavaScript links. All of these links are served by Bootstrap, so you don't need to worry about downloading any code. You can just paste these links and all the code will be converted dynamically. So let's just copy this first code. And for this example, I'm just going to paste this code. I'm going to just copy this JavaScript and paste it below my H1 tag. All right, and now we are going to give it some bootstrap style. So the first one that comes to mind is the container class. So I'm just going to type dot container and press tab, automatically enter this. And let's just do this. All right, so now our H1 tag is inside container class. Let's save that and reload our page. As you can see, the font size has changed. It has come in the center of it. And now let's right click it and inspect it. So our script jQuery and then this popper min.js and this bootstrap.min.js has successfully loaded. And in console, we are not seeing any errors. This particular error is not related to bootstrap. So what else can you do? Now let's just create a simple table. Okay, so that we can quickly know if Bootstrap is successfully installed or not. So this first table looks real nice. Let's just copy it, head over to our example and in another tag, let's just paste it. And please note that I have done this outside of this div. So now it's not going to be centered and I wanted to show you that. And uh, you might be wondering why I'm not refreshing and restarting the server again. Actually, when there is no problem with our code, the Python file to be exact, it is not going to show any error. But every error related to Python will shut down the server and then you will have to restart it again. So right now everything is fine and I'm just going to refresh this page and our table has appeared. 
but if you want to make it look good and in line with this bootstrap example we are going to give it the same div class or rather just cut the closing div and paste it after the closing table now let's refresh it and there you go it has successfully done that and uh, just to show you one more thing I'm just going to make it black if we want to make it um, like this black table you need to add dot table dash dark dot means class so we need to add a class of table dash dark so in the starting of our table you must have class table okay and if you add table dash dark after that it will be converted like so so let's just see for it and I'm going to expand it again so we do have table and then class of table so if we add table dash dark it's going to let's refresh it and it's going to be this black color okay and so there are just so many things that you can do with it I really hope that you do check out all of these options there are wonderful components here like this one if you add just this alert class it will turn into this uh, really great this blue color let's uh, delete the table dash dark from here and in the first column let's add this class of alert and then alert info because that was the actual class name this one so alert and alert dash primary secondary success and info so I think this one is the alert dash info yes this is an info alert so now let's just refresh it and yes the first this one the first text is now in the alert format like here the text is also blue here so and it's now since it has a strong tag behind the scene it has become a little darker than it was before so just play it out and see what you can do with bootstrap and this is how you install bootstrap in python uh, the process is pretty much the same if you want to do a standalone app without the help of flask or django but uh, using flask has given me a lot of opportunities with how to display my web page correctly i'm also going to start a flask tutorial series and i hope you do like share and subscribe to this video so that you can be notified when the flask series comes out um, so thank you for watching this video thank you very much